Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine and I have received the ultimate email from Denise. That's the hostess with the mostest from the channel, Be My Guest with Denise, Denise Cooper. Denise is allowing us to be ourselves with thrift hauls or goodwill hauls, estate sale hauls, or wherever we go to find great bargains and then bring them home and just enhance our decor. That's what Denise is all about. Love Denise Cooper. Now, I am about to head out to my journey. I'm going to take you with me. And by the way, my husband believes that I will go down a dark alley at midnight to find the ultimate bargain. And I would just like to say for the record, that is not true. But yeah, I will. I will do it. I'll be armed, but I'll do it. So, come on, I gotta go. All right, we are traveling to a furniture liquidation store. It's actually a cash liquidation store located in Forsyth, Georgia. Now, I've been shopping there for about 10 plus years, and I have met quite a few interior designers there. And it's interesting to know that if they consider this a great place to shop, then a whole lot more people should consider doing the same. Now, when it comes to shopping at warehouses, closeouts, or liquidation stores, you need to know this, all sales are indeed final tenders are usually going to be cash or credit card and there usually isn't a delivery service per se but if there is it's going to be costly and that's why you want to drive your brother's truck on the day that you plan on shopping there and you also want to take some sort of tape measuring device so that you can measure the item that you want to purchase and make sure that it'll fit the space back home now, a long time ago, I was told that the furniture and decor in this place comes from quality hotels that are either closing down or they're remodeling. All right, guys, we're going to start out looking at chairs. Now, I'm going to try and capture a shot of the price of the item in one shot. If I cannot, then it will be in the second shot. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession. I am a chair addict, and I gotta tell you, there's no shortage of chairs at my house. That's what my husband says all the time. But I don't know what it is. When I see a pretty chair, it seems like I get inspired, and I have to have it. Now, I don't normally see totally damaged items mixed in with items that are just maybe scratched in a minor way. But every now and then, you might run across that at places like this. But it's okay, because usually there's a bargain associated with that broken leg. I've never had any problems with any of the lamps that I've purchased from here and you can actually test the lamps, I mean plug them in before you leave. The good thing about these pictures? They're already matted, framed, and ready to be placed on the wall. A 
Guys, there is so much more that I could show you, but I'm going to have to wrap it up and get back on the highway. All right, all right, I do have a chair addiction. I purchased this cream leather chair for my workspace. It's going to be the perfect chair for my sewing table, even though I did ride it around in my car for two days so my husband wouldn't see it. Well, like I said, I've been shopping here for quite a while, so at least every room in my house has one item in it that came from the store. My dining room suit, I added four additional chairs from this place. I'll put the link to that video in the comments area below. And then secondly, the small console table, I actually just simply put Elmer's glue on it, added some old chalk paint, and spray painted the edges with the gold spray paint. And I purchased four of these prints and I placed them in the foyer. I updated them using red burlap and some tiles which I placed on the front of the glass as medallions. And last but not least, I purchased two of these lamps about a year or so ago. I love them because they're heavy and they're sturdy and they're very decorative. I also love the fact that the on and off switch is on the base of the lamp. All I did was simply spray paint the lamp and then I updated the lamp shades from the bell shade to the drum shade. I think my next project will be putting a picture on that wall. Well, that's it for me. I certainly hope that you enjoyed the quick little shopping spree that we went on earlier. Again, it's all about how you put things together on a dime and save money and then enjoy the process of decorating your home. Thank you so much for stopping by. The links to all of the quick little DIYs that I mentioned will be in the comments area below, along with the links to all of the participating channels. Remember to click, watch, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.